All right, today, ladies and gentlemen, at Woolly Bees, we're going to show you what a lot of people have been waiting on. Actually, how I lure this trap, and then later on this afternoon, I'm hoping my wife will be able to come out and film me actually showing you how I hang the trap. Select the location of how I hang the trap. But we're going to go ahead and get this part of it out of the way. I use these little cotton rounds. You ladies out there will know that these are for removing makeup. Just take and get one of them out of the bag. Well, the bag wants to rip. Always things happen when you're in front of the camera. Just take one. Got a little sandwich bag, snack bag from the grocery store. Have my swarm buddy. Just take and open your swarm buddy up. Give her about three good drops on that makeup pad. I throw it inside the bag. Zip it up, I have a small little nail. I'll take and knock oh, 10, 15 little holes in it. Sorry for the wind. I'm gonna have to pick up all my snack bags here in a minute. But where I know I know where I'm gonna hang this trap, I've already figured out which way the wind is blowing, which way the bees are going. So I know that this is gonna be the sunny side of the hive. So you always put your drawn comb on the sunny side of the hive. The entrance is here, it'll be facing east southeast. Take this, all I do is just take the frame out, drop it down to the bottom, close it up, take my swarm buddy, give her a little shake, put a drop on the frame, drop on the frame, and I'm done with the inside of the hive. Lid back on it. We'll finish this up when we're getting ready to put it on a tree. Alright guys, seeing there's only me, don't have a camera person, and sorry about all the wind, we've got a storm coming in tonight. But we've hung the trap, as you can see it's only oh, about 7 foot off the ground, east, we'll be getting the morning sun, actually east will be coming in at the corner, getting the front and the back. in here to hold it to the tree to keep it from wobbling flying all over everywhere. Take our swarm buddy. I put a drop on the top of the lid, one on the front side, one in the entrance, and we're done. This oil is so concentrated it's kind of thick. From what I'm told, it will actually stay on the trap a lot longer than lemongrass, swim, uh, swim commander. We're at the uh, edge of the field of a friend of mine that owns a trucking company. I know there's bees in the neighborhood. I found them right over that way. The bees were going that way, so Actually, right there at that little blue uh, roof, there uh, was dandelions on the ground, and there was bees working the dandelions, and they were flying away from it. So, found out the prevailing wind is, as I, as you see, is blowing kind of that way. So I decided to hang this last trap here. Like I said, just a drop on the lid, a drop on the front, so it gets heated up. Drop in the entrance, and you're done. Next time, we hope we'll be doing videos of riding around and actually finding these traps full of bees. You guys have a great day. Hit that like and subscribe button down there. Hit that bell so you get a notification. So hopefully you don't miss all the joy that I'm going to have 
when I come back and these traps are full of bees. A friend of mine up in Maryville has already got three swarms already this year. It's quite early. Have a great day.